the conform tool is a modal wrapper around Blender's shrinkwrap modifier, using a stash object as the modifier's target. To use conform, make a selection in edit mode and run the conform tool from the mesh machine menu. As usual, you can select the stash by scrolling with the mouse or using the 1 and 2 keys. You can control scroll to change the method. Check Blender's documentation of the shrinkwrap modifier for details on these. You can alt scroll to change the alpha of the stash wire and you can use the X key to toggle X-ray. Using the D key, you can toggle displaying the result of the confirmation. This is helpful to evaluate what is actually happening to the mesh. By pressing A, you can toggle whether the shrinkwrap modifier should be applied. And if you choose to apply it, you can use the R key to decide whether to keep the vertex group used to mask the current selection, or not. If you don't apply it, you can access the shrinkwrap modifier in the stack, after you've ended the conform tool using the left mouse button or the space bar. By default the modifier will just be applied and the vertex group will be removed. This allows for very frictionless shrinkwrap usage, without having to go through panels, or even leave the full screen mode. The conform tool has proven to be very useful in combination with the offset and chamfer tools, especially when you push them over multiple rows of existing polygons. It's very easy to align the resulting face loop to the implicit surface, which in our case is of course the stash object. You can even add new geometry and align that as well. To really make this work, we need to do a normal transfer as well. Check out the normal transfer video for details. It's essentially the same as the conform tool, but uses the data transfer modifier instead of the shrink wrap. 